Hey every people, this is the real mass of KMS, goddess of justice, truth and balance. So today is the continuation of the video that I did a uh, couple of days and the title was enough with the brain drain uh, for the African people and also our leaders more because it's very very evident that people are still waiting, our, even our leaders who are so much so much with the education here so much with everything here they are still waiting for the white man savior complex in order to save them like for now it's only we are waiting for the uk for the us to come up with whatever they are going to give us their food do their poison in order to test for our people here but enough is enough so i would like to thank Madagascar President Andre Rogerina for coming up with a uh, and also launching up a herbal medicine uh, mm. that is made from Matemesia and some other herbs and a cure that has been proven to cure and prevent COVID 19 and it was discovered uh, by uh, the help of Dr. Jerome Munyagi. You can research the Dr. Jerome Munyagi. He has a YouTube channel and also he's, uh, he has so much to offer. And currently he's back from France to his country. I think Congo, that is where he was, he fled. Uh, and he went to seek asylum to France, but now he's back in our soil. So it's the high time our researchers come together, our scientists come together in order to fight all the diseases that has been uh, has been created among us, our people in our continent, in our land. It's the time we kick them away. We say enough is enough, we are not going to be guinea pigs anymore, we have malaria, we don't have a cure uh, for it, and malaria is still claiming, right, we have TB, which is, there is also, there is also resistant TB, which is also claiming, right, doesn't have a um, medication or cure, and we cannot just go on with just popping pumping our people with medicine, pumping with our people medicine, like for now there is, this is all about big pharma, the discovering their own cures, their own medicine in order to add whatever we have on top. We have our people who are HIV infected and they are also taking this um, uh, drugs they are still taking on they are still on day to day medication which to me is like slavery you never leave this medicine and despite they have so many numerous adverse effects and it's the time we do away with that so many many thanks to you madagascar ade uh, adri rojorina don't be corrupted by these people because I know they will be running to you. I know you are from Freemason Brotherhood, but I will say this is at our time now we pass away from those secret societies. It's the time we uh, get away and come up with our own uh, institution for knowledge, ancient, ancient knowledge. This is the time to safeguard whatever was taken from us and return it to the motherland enough with this humiliation degrading of our own people that we cannot do anything for ourselves so congratulations madagascar maragasi people for starting also with your president on this cure this is what we want this is what we want and also we would like to um, say that we have so many people, potential people that are coming up with uh, 
so many cures and are offering their heart. There are so many out people there. And it's the time we hear and also see what they have to give. Like we have the Maya COVID. I cannot remember the guy who is behind the Maya COVID. And then we have a girl here in Kenya who said that she had a she she had she had she has this cure for COVID nineteen and it's the high time we also listen to our children because the children who are reconnecting here are Idigo children, star seeds, Christos children, those children with who are half 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 high high knowledge from the from the stars. It's the time we hear what they are they have to offer because they are tomorrow and they are the one who is going to continue with whatever we have started so we need them and we needed them for in order to complete whatever the foundation we have laid for them we need to be need them and then we have uh, we had Ghana herbalist um, who came up and said they can cure if give uh, COVID-19 give given opportunity, which was very good. We need to hear. There is so much coming from Ghana. And also we would like to thank uh, the U.S. for supporting Madagascar with two and a half million dollars in response to coronavirus uh, pandemic and also supporting uh, them in the their cure and before I go on I would like to tell who World Health Organization this is not your business keep away from the business of African people completely completely it's very very evident you are at the door whatever you are cooking with all those who are behind this pandemic your aim was to bring all these uh, this poison into our own people our children and we have said enough is enough we cannot go on with this keep up the business of that covid organics Remember, like I said, you who have been coming in the midst of people who are, have discovered cure for most of the elements that are aiding in our people, and they are always budging in, and because they are the World Health Organization, they just come and interfere with everything, and we forget about those cures. In order for the big farmer to keep on reaping uh, benefits and profits over the suffering and the death of our people here. So keep off the business of our whatever we are going to discover here. Africa now is in on its own. We have decided to go on our own. We don't need you. We don't need all those organizations here that are here also. Like I have to keep on saying that you are, it's your time to leave. We don't need you in our own right. Be it from those organizations from Asia, that is the Koika, the Jaika. Now it's your time to pack and go. Be it organization from French government. Be it from US, we don't need you. Pack and go. So don't interfere with our whatever we have uh, we have found here our cure we cannot just go on putting mask in our life and we know how the the importance of, of prana breath that is our life rain whatever we breathe in is our life rain and whenever we put something in our mouth even you you can attest to this what you put whenever you put this mask in your face in your mouth to cover you and also to cover your nose it's become the breathing is becoming uh, problematic you tend to have very bad breath and also even the 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 
the air you are breathing in and the air you are giving in out it's become uh, like a poison because whatever you are breathing in this uh, piece of cloth is what you are also breathing in so that is uh, carbon uh, carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide <laughs> to confuse these two and also whatever we give out the carbon monoxide i will have to look at those two <laughs> i don't know what, what we breathe out. we breathe out what we breathe out is what we give to our trees and what what the tree breathes in is what we get in the oxygen so you can see the connection nothing is separate from us even the nature if we just cover our mouth we are going to create another problem and also the in the, the there is the would be an imbalance in the air the air we are breathing in the this whatever we don't see so we cannot continue with our life with such 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 uh, things covering our mouth and our faces we cannot do that so we are just telling you keep, who just keep out of our business and also i would like to thank um thank those countries 35 countries have come up with to support madagascar people and among those countries are the tz we have seen liberia they have ordered for the COVID organic, we have seen Senegal. Senegal is exceptional this time. They have developed kids within a short period of time. And now they are the one who is offering uh, or have gone to get the COVID organics for their own people. We have seen also Equatorial Guinea. And this is very good. This is very good. We need our people, presidents who are thinking about their own people, for the sake, for the sake of our people, for the life of our people, for the, for everything, for the love of our people. Like right? even for Magufuli, he just sent a private jet to get the COVID organic, and I don't know why our Kenya here are still lagging behind. They have decided that they are going to go for medicines these medicines do that like i said they have a lot of side effects they have a slight of side effect i have been there have taken these medicines and the way they do things in your body i even i don't want to mention here so it's a high time we say enough is enough we don't want your your medicine this is what we are going to choose even for us here kenya and I'm asking the government of Kenya, please reconsider COVID organics. COVID organic. And also our family, I know they have the capability of doing so. They have the capability of doing so, of um, making our own cure here. And this is what we are going to go for. We are going, not going to go for Western voodoo western poison no we are not going to go for that plant medicine is the best so and also i would like to go back in time where we had aid qi which was discovered by by other bear of par omega and he was frustrated by camry i don't know what happened he came out and he said that and then also there was another guy two of them that came and said that they have discovered uh, HIV AIDS cure and because of who becoming coming in between this we haven't been been able to see or to uh, test whether this medicine our people have been developing are really 
you are blaming people and this is what we should go back we should recall those people know, know where they where they are where they stopped and maybe we can bring this back we can bring this medicine back whatever they were using we want to know what they were using and also we need also to test whether this medicine was effective we have so many people who are hiv positive here so this is a time to remember those like uh, par omega what whatever he was doing we need to know what what we was doing what he had for our own people so it's the time we revive all those thing that who has been putting or behind or uh, in front of our eyes so that we cannot see even our people and also we cannot recognize the cure of our own people so another thing um we are refusing is that all these people who are giving our people here money stop giving our african leaders money foreign aids enough with this because we know i don't know why you keep on keep keeping uh, keep giving our people money and you know that their work on their work here is to a base of us put them in their accounts and also the those um the same amount of money is being stashed back in your in your bank foreign bank this is where they have a lot of money stashed there hidden there and it's the time we bring back the, those money that they have hidden in your country i don't know why you keep refuge to of such kind of money and you know this money this is what our people have been working so hard for it but this is what you you are happy when we suffer we african people so all this money that is there we need it back here also we need to return the money back here and also stop giving our people money like we have seen russia giving our people here in kenya 300 million uh dollar 300 million dollars usa has given our people also our government here 70.5 million let me say it's not our people because people don't never receive this money we only read it in the in the media that this is what our what the what you are giving us and also we have the world bank which has given 6 billion and also cbk central bank of kenya here has transferred 7.4 billion we all know that uh cbk is owned by rothschild and whatever they give out or how they have trapped our people here is that they have uh, selected these banks which work for central bank which are owned uh, owned by our own people and the, the, they are giving out these mortgages and loans with so much high rates and people our people have gone to an excess of um trading their own shabas with these loans so if you can give back 7.4 billion in order to for to our government in order to fight the COVID-19 this is the same way we want you to forgive our own people all this money that it owes you it's the time you you forgive our people return the title deeds of the land that you have taken from our people we have had enough of you and it's also it's the high time you close this bank central bank should be closed and you should get out of africa you should get out of africa and also we have seen 
IMF, that is International Monetary Fund. This is the latest giving our, our, our government here 79.3 79 billion. I don't know whether it's 79.3 billion. And also there is 739 million US, billion um 739 million us dollars but also we refuse that this was the latest like two days ago and if you haven't transferred this loan please stay we refuse it don't let this loan come in our country don't rent this loan step in our rad because whatever the uh, our readers they hear what they are going to do is only misuse their money put them in their own bank accounts build their skyscrapers here and the ordinary man person will not it's not going to get this kind of money so we are banning all organization giving our african read our readers money we have said enough is enough no more of this giving of, of money and even the loans we don't want them if we want loans we will know how we are going to to go about it and also how we are going to organize our people here if it's a one country which has problem we are going to know we are going to know what we are going to do in order to um, to save our own people, so enough is enough. And also, there have been um, introduction of um, me medicine, what I'm calling the Western food, do, which is hydro hydro <laughs> chloroquine, adromycin, and remidisivir, which which is being made this is what is be what was being proposed by the government of kenya as a clinical style the medicivil which is owned by giriad uh, company they are the makers of this drug and even by the name itself it's all it's giving itself away giriad or giriad this is red hmm? So this is what they put in their own medicine, heavy metal. Hmm? And we all know that heavy metal, like red poisoning, if there is too much build up in the body, you tend to have abdominal pain, headaches, memory problem, constipation, irritability, inability to have children, tingling in hearts and, and, and feet. This is the kind of medicine which, like I said, have so much, so much uh, side effects. And we don't need this kind of medicine for our own people. So this time we are choosing um, nature, plant medicine. We have so many people. Even we have our own able people here. We have a... Yeah, we have our, our own people, communities here. We have the Kaya community, they came out and they said they want to contribute in fight of this COVID-19. In the same time, we listen to our own people. We cannot be just uh, listen to, to other people who are just uh, so much interested in ruining our lives and also making us slaves for their own uh, the drugs. Because this is the same as this... This pandemic or these diseases is the same as HIV. This is what they want to do. Bring it here and then they keep they keep our people f uh, fixed with the drugs. Like they are, have to pop those tablets each and every day in order to survive. In order for this uh, disease not to um, react with their own body. So we don't need another problem over and of our problems which we have. Um, 
And also, I would like to ask the government of Kenya here, please reconsider. Whenever you put our people in quarantine there, you are charging too much money. 2,000 a day is too much. It's too much. And whatever you are you are charging our people here is there. It's too much. Let me see. It's too much. Already people are feeling drained financially, emotionally, physically, intellectually, spiritually. <laughs> so... Whenever you put them in quarantine, please put them free of charge there. Whatever they can provide there is their own food. You can say that they can provide their own food. They can, I know look, they can do that because they have their own family members who can say that's a small amount of money. So they can be buying that uh, money. Uh, that's a... Uh, that's a, okay. That's a food for themselves. Fourteen days is not so long, so they can, uh, whenever they have money, they can know what they are going to um, buy or what they are going to eat. And also, we can allow maybe one family member to be coming to the facilities where they have the quarantine in order for them to maybe to deliver even the food so this is also a good idea so i would like to thank the kikotex rivertex kenya airways and also the companies that made the sanitizers and this was a proof that we can do it if this pandemic the way it came if any other thing any other emergency was to come this is the way we should go on or we should react to such emergencies i have seen so many things um emergencies when they come and people minding their own business so this is a uh, wake up call to us so in case of in future emergencies this is the way we should come all of us to fight such such a thing all of us so also i'd like to thank Zimbabwe. it's authorized herbalists to treat coronavirus and this was very good like i said we have choose we have decided to choose plant medicine And also, I would like to thank uh, Uganda in Tanzania for refusing our truck drivers because the same way HIV was spread is the same way we can see the coronavirus is, uh, is spread. It came uh, with airplanes given to our people then the carelessness of our own doctors here through the use of dirty needles that is the, the disinfected needles this is what caused the spread of the diseases and also the truck drivers contributed a lot a lot to the spread of HIV virus because truck drivers, we, as we know, they are able to move from one country to the other. They maneuver so well. And I'm very, very, very happy this time. The people, even the people of Uganda and TZ were very, very much aware what was happening. And they pointed out and yeah, this is the way it should go. Whenever you, you want to travel to another country or you have your own uh, luggage you want to take there, it's very important you have certificate that you are not uh, having any kind of uh, ailment which is uh, contagious, which is you just want to spread. And also this is the same way we should be doing with the HIV. 
as a way of eradicating HIV out of Africa completely. This is the way we should go. This is the same procedure we should follow. And also, like I said, we need to uh, do away with these uh, test kits that Jack Ma gave us. Like I was uh, remembering, whenever you have a foreign particle or uh, some insect that gets in your nose up to the nasal, that is the this area where everything meets the nose, the eyes, the ears meet and this is what where the whatever you see here whatever you see with your eyes is is projected back in your brain whenever you have that part that foreign particles getting inside here you tend to have induced or you induce a cold and if you are eating something, if it happens to go out, the, out to the that place, you just kind of feel I'm very uncomfortable until that foreign thing uh, goes. So I'm not very comfortable with this thing of just putting that needle in the that area. We don't know what you are dusting in that area also. So you need to stop doing that. There are so many ways we can test these uh, virus. There is saliva. There is that um, frame from uh, from the throat. You can test that frame. So and also, I think by drawing out blood, you can, you can it can be able to show these virus. So we don't need these kind of uh, things we are putting in the nose. We have to stop this kind of test. We need to come up with good tests test kits for our own people and also because we have opened uh, the swans we have to be very very vigilant because like I said there is uh, something that the agenda is being uh, delivered here and to me we should not be opening such kind of uh, hotels it's the time we do away uh, with hotels that time is over that time is over Opening hotels, people need, to, they have to go back in those times they were cooking for themselves and their own family. Remember, we are also losing a lot of animals which are slaughtered and they are eaten in these restaurants. And also those kind of behaviors we portray there in the restaurants whenever we are drinking. It's too much for our children. So me, I would recommend that these restaurants let's do away with them let's do away with them it's the time that we go back to our own um, ways which we were cooking for our own families it's better for the sake of our animals for the sake of our children also and also for the sake of decrogging the urban areas 